Now we are in the age of personalized medicine. We want safety, we want to ensure the whole thing, but then if we do not come up with new technology to ensure sterility and uh, using the old way, then we get into trouble. The current outbreak of meningitis is attributed to the fungal contamination of steroid drugs. At this point, we don't know yet how it happened. What is important, that it is by and large related to the quality control of the drugs which are coming out from the companies to the consumers. And what we really need to think about, how to enable the companies to carry out much better quality control and how to enable the consumers, the doctors who administer the drugs, to carry out uh, the secondary evaluation of contaminants in their offices right before administering the drugs. This is not the first time. And unless we resolve that issue about regulatory oversight, at the same time, we had to start to talk about developing technology able to help this kind of situation not to happen again. Three-dimensional cell cultures are a new type of in vitro culturing of common human cells set up to replicate the behavior of human organs. And that's possibly the best way for the quality control of any drug. There are also some analytical techniques which would allow the end user of the drugs to quickly evaluate the problem with the contamination. Nanoparticle assemblies can give uh, the detection of uh, potentially problematic contaminants of the drugs, even if they exist in a minute quantities as it possibly had occurred with the fungal contamination of steroid drugs. The key issue right now is that we can do lots of testing, but if we cannot test every single batch, then we still uh, open up risks. So this is really a company on technology innovation and also uh, develop regular, I call regular science. How do we generate regulation based on science-based, risk-based, as a way to ensure proper safety.